DIY off-grid water pump, oh yeah. Welcome back to the channel, I'm very excited to show you my new DIY 18650 powered off-grid water pump that I've been working on over the past week. I've designed this setup to work exclusively with our first flush rainwater catchment system that was installed last year. Currently we have the capacity to collect 275 gallons of water using an IBC tote from a 36 foot section of rain gutter. I will be using this pump to water the gardens and help keep the above ground pool filled up when the water is low. The system is very similar to the other 18650 boxes I have designed. The only difference here is that I have included a dedicated 12 volt RV style water pump that is located in the bottom half of the design. On the front of the upper box, the left switch controls a relay that provides power from the 24 volt bus. Two small fans are controlled by the middle switch and the last switch powers four amber colored trailer marker lights. Although not necessary for this setup, I've included a 12 volt socket and USB outlets as accessories in the event there is a need for USB charging or additional 12 volt devices. I've included an always on voltage meter on top of the unit for easy access. Inside the top tray, there is an MPPT 7210 step up charge controller on the left side for solar. A 300 watt buck converter is located on the right side for voltage step down for the 12 volt bus and accessories. Inside the box, a 24 volt bus is located on the left, a 7S6P battery is located in the center, and the 12 volt bus and wiring is located on the right side. A 24 volt relay is located just to the left, followed by the previously mentioned switches and accessories. Fans are located on both sides of the box, one for air intake and another to blow air out. I've also provided passing cooling ports for the upper and lower boxes. There's an SAE 2-pin connector for an easy connection to the 100 watt 12 volt solar panel I'm using. What I really like about this setup is how the boxes can be split up. All electronics in the top of the pump being located separately in the bottom. In the event I want to use just the top box as a traditional power box, I can simply disconnect the pump. SAE connectors allow me to hook up my solar panel directly to the pump if needed. The pump itself provides for 3 gallons per minute at 55 PSI. More than enough water flow for my needs. Overall, this has been a really nice project. I'm looking forward to many years of using this new pump and the off-grid rainwater system. I do have a couple loose ends I want to finish up on this project. Would like to install a dedicated off-on switch for the 12 volt pump as well as do some cable management for inside the box. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, hit that notification bell, and have a great day.